everyone would want to be more likable if they had the chance, right? Today, I'm teaching you one simple way to be more likable. Just one important strategy. No tricks, no gimmicks. So if you're ready, we're starting now. A simple way to get people to like you is don't respond, anticipate. This is the likability rule. Don't respond, anticipate comes in three parts. So to do this properly, we need to do the following three things. The first step is to read the room. That's location specific. Where are you and where is the potential communication participant? Let's just say you're on your way back from your morning jog and coffee run and now you're walking back into your building. You're aware of your surroundings, you know where you are, and you are aware of not only location, but also proximity to the potential communication participants. So who is speaking to each other? The second step is to read the potential communication participants or participants. What are they currently doing or saying without you being in the picture, right? As you are an observer at that point. So as a silent observer, what are the people who are currently involved in conversation doing or saying without your being in the picture yet, right? So this is your observation as a bystander, not as a participant yet. There is one potential communication participant, let's say, your first floor neighbor speaking to another communication participant, which could be your doorman from the inside of her apartment. And so there's the doorman with whom she's speaking. And that's why the doorman is the second potential communication participant. So basically, who are the people involved? Is it one person? Is it two people? Is it several people? Who are the potential communication participants? The third step is to read the situation, meaning what are they doing and what are you doing, right? So now you are bringing in your own self-awareness. Do you still have your headphones on that you were using on your morning jog as you now approach the building? Is it unclear that you are listening to something because your earbuds are in subtly and it's quite inconspicuous, very easy to miss, particularly if the person, one of the people is an older person and maybe doesn't really know about earbuds? What are the participants doing? Are they chatting to each other and then looking to greet you as you walk into the building, right? Are they looking to make eye contact? In which case, you know that a conversation might strike up. So those are the three steps to don't respond, anticipate. That is the likability rule. Before responding, if necessary, you're first anticipating the situation by reading the room, reading the potential communication participants. And remember, they're potential because they're not necessarily people with whom you're going to engage. And thirdly, reading the situation. These three steps will allow you to anticipate their reaction and in turn, your response. To make this framework a little bit clearer, let's now look at two examples. Okay, so in the first example, the person is not following the don't respond, anticipate, likability rule with the three steps. So in the first example, if you were to breeze by them without taking off your headphones, you don't end up saying hello or stopping to chat briefly with either the first floor neighbor or the doorman. And that does not leave the best, most favorable impression of you, right? Especially if someone were about to greet you or had already greeted you, but you didn't hear them because you were too busy listening to your music, listening to your audiobook, that you did not want to press pause and engage with them, right? What kind of message does that send? And again, it might not have been intentional on your part, but it does not make that person likable in that moment. 
Okay, so now let's look at another example where the person is following the don't respond, anticipate likability rule. Now, in this case, they walk up to the building and they're aware of their surroundings. They notice that they're approaching two potential communication partners and they're noticing that there are two people who are in light conversation because they're looking around, they're laughing. It's nothing very serious that needs to just have them have their own privacy. It's just a fun little quick exchange. So the first floor neighbor who's elderly and probably a little bit lonely, and there's the jovial doorman who's very friendly. And so that person, let's say you notice that your earbuds are in. So you take them out and you pause your audiobook and your music. And then you turn to the communication participants. You make eye contact with the first floor neighbor and the doorman. And instead of having them break their flow of conversation, because you don't know what kind of conversation they're having and if it's important that you don't cut anybody off, you allow the participants to then say hello. And at that point, they are also greeting both the neighbor and the doorman, meaning you are also greeting the two of them, right? So likability is on point in this scenario, and that is awesome, so way to go. And it's all thanks to the don't respond, anticipate likability rule. So it's one simple, super duper easy strategy to instantly make you more likable and boost your impression of others so that they would like to engage with you in future interactions. Don't respond, anticipate, and the three steps are a surefire way to boost your likability. Reading the room, paying attention to your location and your surroundings, and reading the person or the people, aka the potential communication participants by figuring out what they're currently doing in that moment without you being involved. And lastly, reading the situation so that now if you were to get involved in that conversation, you can anticipate what they'll be saying and what that would look like when you're in the picture. If you turn to look at them and hold their gaze, they're probably going to say hello. They might ask you for the time, right? They might ask you if you could Help them with something around the house if you're good neighbors. Anticipate before responding, right? So that is the likability rule. Super simple and straightforward, and you can take it anywhere and everywhere. Just keep it in your back pocket and in your communication toolkit, and that way you can level up your likability factor. All right, Explorers, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with friends and family and anyone who wants to boost their communication skills and social skills. It really helps the channel grow and we wouldn't be here without all of your wonderful support, likes, comments, shares, everything that you do to help support the Exploring channel. And I will see you in another exploring lesson. So bye for now and happy exploring everyone.